Did you know that the human brain can process images in just 13 milliseconds? The amazing thing is that the images projected onto our retinas are actually upside down, and it is the brain that has to flip them so you see the world the right way. Human vision spans about 100 degrees vertically and 190 degrees horizontally, enough to allow us to see an incredible amount of space. Our eyes can distinguish up to one million shades of color, and the most active muscles in the entire body are, you guessed it, the muscles that control our eyes. Even more amazing, human vision is so sensitive that it can detect a beam of light containing just five to seven photons. Yet, the natural world is full of creatures with vision abilities that go even further than we can imagine. In today's video, we'll explore which animals can see 350 times better in the dark than humans, and which can see ultraviolet light, something the human eye can't do at all. Join us on a journey to see the world through the eyes of animals. How humans know what animals see. With vision like ours, it's hard to imagine what it's like to see differently. Our retinas contain two types of photoreceptor cells, rods and cones. Rods help us distinguish between light and dark. Cones are responsible for color perception. By looking at the structure of these cells under a microscope, scientists can predict whether an animal can see color. Combined with brain scans, they can also determine which areas of the brain respond to changes in color, giving us some insight into how each species sees. Of course, we can't say for sure exactly what animals see. We can only infer from biological and behavioral data. For example, deer use ultraviolet light to detect moss and lichen. Mosquitoes sense infrared light to find areas of their bodies rich in blood. Vision is, after all, a survival tool. It helps them find food, avoid predators, or recognize other species. Insects, for example, have compound eyes, made up of thousands of tiny units called ametidia, each of which records a tiny fragment of the image. As a result, they see the world as a vibrating mosaic. A honeybee, for example, can have thousands of ametidia, making its world appear as a universe shattered in blue-violet light. Dogs, seeing the world in blue and yellow tones. Have you ever heard that dogs only see in black and white? Wrong. Humans have three types of cone cells that distinguish between blue, red, and green light. So we see a wide spectrum of color. Most mammals, including dogs, have only two types of cone cells, for blue and yellow. This means that dogs cannot distinguish between red and green, just as humans are red-green colorblind. So what looks like a red tomato to us might just look like a mass of gray to them. However, dogs have better night vision than humans. They detect movement very quickly. No wonder your dog barks before you see anyone at the door. Some studies even suggest that they are more sensitive to blue than humans, which helps them see better in low light. And no, the image in a dog's head is not upside down. Like humans, their retinas have upside down images, but the brain corrects this. Cats, hunter in the dark. Like dogs, cats are crepuscular creatures, so their eyes are designed to see clearly in low light conditions. A cat has six to eight times more photoreceptors than a human, allowing it to observe in near absolute darkness. A cat's field of vision is about 200 degrees, surpassing that of humans, which only has a range of 180, 190 degrees. This allows them to easily detect movement even as small as the tail of a mouse in the corner of a room. However, daytime is not their prime time. Cats have fewer cone cells, so the spectrum of color they see is much narrower mostly blue, yellow, and gray, with a touch of green. Cats' close-up vision is also poor, while humans can read words at 5.5 inches, 14 simetum. Cats have to back up to about 10 inches, 25 sim, to see clearly. Their distance vision is also blurrier. What you see clearly at 100 ft, 30 menor, a cat can only see clearly at 20 ft, 6 mem. In the dark, though, you're pretty much out of luck. Horse, nearly 350 degrees of vision. Horses have eyes on either side of their heads, allowing them to see almost their entire surroundings, leaving only a small blind spot behind their tails. This allows them to spot predators in a flash, a vital survival mechanism for herbivores. Horses have the largest eyes of any land mammal, eight times larger than humans, but their fine-grained vision is poorer. What you see clearly at 30 feet, nine menor, 
they can only see from 20 feet, 6 meter. Interestingly, about 23% of horses are nearsighted, while 43% are farsighted, which explains why they sometimes get a little jumpy when there is nothing dangerous. Horses' wide peripheral vision and ability to pick up on movements very quickly help them escape predators in a split second. Bats. Not blind. The phrase, blind as a bat, is actually misleading. The vision of bats depends on the species. Large bats, megabats, have large eyes, fly and hunt by sight. Small bats, microbats, use echolocation, location by sound. However, even small bats use their eyes to perceive objects beyond the echolocation range, about 30, 60 ft, 10, 20 meters. Some species have better vision than humans, especially in low light. Their eyes contain two photosensitive proteins, S-opsin, which detects blue and ultraviolet light, L-opsin, which detects red and green. Some Central and South American bats have lost the S-opsin gene, making them completely colorblind. So seeing like a bat should really mean seeing extremely well in the dark. Owl, the night warrior. When darkness falls, the visual throne belongs to owls. Their eyes are pointed straight ahead, creating three-dimensional vision that helps them measure distances with extreme precision, essential for lightning-fast nighttime strikes. Owl eyes make up 5% of their body mass, while human eyes make up only 0.003%, a ratio that makes you take your hat off to them. Their pupils are extremely dilated, absorbing a huge amount of light. The ratio of photoreceptors in the retina is 30 rods, one cone, compared to 20, one in humans, helping them detect movement in the dark 100 times better. Their only weakness, owls are far-sighted, so they have difficulty seeing close up. In return, they have super-sensitive sensory hairs around their beaks, which act almost like a close combat radar. Parrots, color artists of the sky. You might recognize an eagle soaring high above the clouds, but if you're a parrot, the world is much more colorful. In the retina of a parrot, there are special cone cells containing droplets of colored oil, which act as microscopic lenses and natural light filters. As a result, they not only see the same range of colors as humans, but also distinguish colors that are much clearer, brighter, and more intense. Parrots' eyes, located on the sides of their heads, give them a nearly 300-degree field of vision, which helps them spot predators from far away. If you think parrots are just imitating human voices, remember that their image processing speed far exceeds that of modern video cameras. While your TV displays 60, 100 frames per second, a parrot's eye can process more than 150 frames per second. It's not uncommon for them to react to the slightest movement, enough to dart away before danger gets close. However, this impressive vision has its limits. Parrots rotate their eyes less flexibly than humans, only about 20 degrees to each side, whereas we can rotate up to 50 degrees. Even so, their visual acuity is many times greater than that of mammals, and between two and eight times that of dogs and cats. Pigeons, keepers of the sky. Have you ever tried to sneak up on a pigeon? Unless it is a city pigeon that is used to people, it is almost impossible. They are always alert, constantly observing, which is crucial for survival. The eyes on both sides of their heads give pigeons extremely wide monocular vision, helping them avoid predators and obstacles easily. Pigeons see 340 degrees horizontally and 135 degrees vertically and can detect ultraviolet UV light, which allows them to see many details that we cannot. Clothing or objects that reflect UV can frighten or irritate pigeons, as the light creates an unusual image in their eyes. Interestingly, their ability to stay alert for longer periods of time allows them to detect objects at a greater distance than humans. Not because their eyesight is sharper, but because their brains don't tire from constant observation. It was this trait that led the U.S. Coast Guard to train pigeons for search and rescue missions in the late 20th century. They were taught to recognize red, yellow, and orange, the common colors of life jackets. And when they did, they pecked at switches that activated beacons. Even during flights lasting hours, pigeons maintained an astonishing level of focus. This is because pigeons have five color channels in their eyes, while humans have only three. And at night, their eyesight surpasses that of humans 
but it still depends on moonlight and the surrounding environment. Pigeons are diurnal. Hawks, the eyes of the erected hunter. If you ever thought you had hawk eyes, multiply that feeling by eight, because that's how hawks really see the world. These birds of prey have an extremely high density of photoreceptors in their retinas, allowing them to detect the slightest movement at great distances. A red-tailed hawk can see a mouse 100 feet 30 meters away, with a 280 degree field of view and a binocular overlap of about 40 degrees. This allows them to focus both eyes on a single target, accurately judging distance before diving. Hawks also perceive a wider spectrum of color than humans, including ultraviolet light allowing them to see details invisible to the naked eye. Combined with their keen hearing, they can detect the slightest noise of a baby bird or a rodent gnawing in dry leaves from a great distance. And that is why hawks are almost the epitome of predatory perfection. Eyes bigger than their brains, but smart enough to survive for millions of years. For humans, the eyes are the windows to the soul. For nature, they are a weapon of survival, refined over hundreds of millions of years. When we think about it, we realize sight is more than just a sense. It is a story written in light. All creatures see the same world, but each sees a different truth. From tiny insects to apex predators, nature reminds us that vision determines survival, and beauty lies in how each pair of eyes interprets existence. So the next time you look up at the sky, remember, somewhere out there, another creature is looking at the same scene but seeing it aglow with colors we cannot imagine. What about you? If for just one day, you could see the world through another creature's eyes, whose eyes would you choose? If you enjoy this journey into the hidden world, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel to continue to enter the magical stories of nature, because at Terra Savage, every perspective opens up a different way of seeing this world.